Thank you very much, Sonny, for that wonderful introduction. Um, welcome, everyone, to the Digital Marketing and GTLD Strategy Congress, and a particular welcome to uh, those of you who have travelled afar from, uh, not from London, and I know a number of you come from the US. Um, from a, a pure Richemont perspective, this uh, conference could not have come at a better time. Uh, as we are uh, developing our strategies for our dot brands, so dot Carte, dot Montblanc, but also in the wider GTLD environment, we have to understand what our digital strategies are going to be uh, as the, the potential 30-fold increase in uh, generic top-level domains uh, occurs. And, and over the next few months, uh, as, this, uh, uh, as this revolution uh, evolves, then we really do need to know what our strategies are going to, are going to be. And, and I'm sure, uh, as a brand, I'm not alone in the room uh, thinking that. Um, so really, just to give an overview of, of what I'm going to do as, as, as a chair in the introduction, I'm going to give a very brief state of the nation. Now, many of you will know uh, all this information, but it's, it's useful for some of you just to wipe the slate clean uh, and understand what this is all about. Um, I'll then uh, give an overview of some of the challenges we face as a brand. Now, this isn't purely selfish because I think these uh, challenges are shared amongst others. And uh, a colleague from the, the industry, Martin Sutton at HSBC, uh, .HSBC has a different prop proposition to .Carte, but we share a number of common aims, and so I'll try and identify those. And then I'll go into the conference agenda and then hand over to two individuals that need no introduction uh, in the name of Frank Schilling and uh, Kevin Murphy. So um, where are we in the state of the nation? We had uh, 1,930 uh, applications costing uh, £375 million. Now, that's just an application fees. That's not management time. That's not consulting time, that's not technical services, uh, and it's certainly not legal fees. Um, we've also, out of that, got 1,409 unique strings, so there's only ever going to be an increase in 1,409, uh, and, a, of course, uh, 116 IDNs. Now, that's a fantastic uh, example that this has gone global. In terms of the, uh, the, the kind of geographic spread, uh, if we're allowed to use the word geographic, um, 911 come from North America, which, as you'd expect, is, is, is the bulk. Uh, we have 675 applications from Europe, Asia Pacific, 303, uh, Latin America, 24, and Africa, 17. But this again shows, and particularly from a European perspective, that this is a big issue for us, uh, as it is for those in the States, as it is for those in Asia Pacific and, uh, and the rest of the world. So breaking down these applications, what we've got, and, and before I go into the actual detail, I, I do have to uh, admit that I borrowed this information from one of our uh, consultants, uh, Valadeus, so I, I have to, as an intellectual property uh, lawyer, acknowledge that. Um, so out of these 930 applications, we, we can split them into three categories. The first category is single registrant. Now that is essentially uh, us as a dot brand, so dot Carte, dot Montblanc, dot IWC, dot Netaporty, dot Misreporty. Uh, and that's where we intend to use this exclusively. Uh, we then have open restricted, which is essentially uh, a model where you can join the club provided you comply with the policies. Um, dot pharmacy is a good example. And then we have the rest, the evolution of the dot com, the open, and, and that's where you've got 878 applications. Uh, and that's essentially anyone can apply subject to the, the, the rights protection mechanisms. Now, breaking down these, you then go into the actual categorizations. 33% were brands, so uh, dot, uh, .kpmg, dot, um, .gucci, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but 14% were brand keywords. And, and an example that I learned of recently was dot .ketchup, which has been withdrawn, but that's a kind of brand keyword. Um, geographics are obvious, and, and I, I can't not mention the fact that London has dot .london. Um, communities, I've, I've, I've given an example of community application. That is the, the dot .pharmacy. Uh, and then uh, geographic community, an example of that would be Paris. You have to have a connection uh, with Paris. Uh, and then the, the rest are the keywords. Now, you can have single registrant keywords, although there are problems with that. Um, but the, the bulk of these will be the, 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 the open registries, the dot .shop, dot .vip, dot .luxury, uh, that we will be considering apl applying for to the extent uh, that they fit our, our digital strategies. So where are we now? Um, well, this is true as of uh, Monday night, uh, and it's true on the basis that it came from the ICANN website. Um, so we have 1,750 have passed initial evaluation, which is essentially uh, one of the milestones we need to pass to get to uh, go live. We still need to do pre-delegation testing, sign the contract. Um, 
187 received uh, what is called a GAC warning, which is a government advisory committee warning for various issues. Uh, Richemont had four uh, GAC warnings in, rela in relation to some of its generic uh, terms, dot watches, dot jewellery. Um, 121 have been withdrawn, which is actually, uh, it's good that there's a, still, there's a small proportion that have been withdrawn, and it shows that the, 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 the vast majority are still uh, pressing ahead. 73 are, are, are currently considered to be on hold uh, for various legal reasons because of, of, of closed generics, which we're, we're developing and, and uh, we're engaging with ICANN on as a community. Um, two are unapproved, although this number varies depending on who you speak to. Um, and 20% are, are stuck uh, on, uh, for a few months on a, on a collision risk because there's a, there's a technical issue between um, internal networks conflicting with, 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 with the new GTLDs. But uh, I'm not a technical person, so I won't go into that any more detail. So really, that, that's the, the state of the nation. We now, uh, really now need to be thinking about going to talk about some of the challenges. And, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, we have, we have two uh, channels for our challenges. The first challenge is, is our dot brands. And, and many of you in this room will be having the challenges thinking about, well, what are the strategies going to be in terms of product, brand, consumer? Um, and an example of the dot brands would be Yahoo, uh, Cartier, HSBC, Lego, KPMG, Gucci, and, and, and Vanish. Um, now, we need to be developing these strategies to see what we, how we progress our digital marketing strategies uh, in accordance with, 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 uh, with our launch of, of, of the GTLDs. But we mustn't forget, and this is the second channel, is, is that we are a brand and we're a brand operating in the wider GTLD environment. And therefore, we need to understand how the two strategies align. Uh, what do we do with the new sunrise periods? What do we do um, in terms of... of um, of registering. In a way, uh, the, the, the vast number of, of open GTLDs has forced the issue. We can't def defensively register uh, everything, which is a good thing, I think. So these are the kind of questions that we're asking, and, and I'm sure uh, a, a number of you are, are, are asking these questions as, as brands or, or consultants to brands uh, or, or, or other service providers. Um, how do we position the dot brand? Um, what are our additional responsibilities? And, and this is a particular uh, interesting one for me as, as we move away from the, the registrant level where, we, where we, we know who our host is, we know who our development uh, team are, we know who our e-commerce providers are, and we take a step up. We're, we're contracting with ICANN. We're, we're, we've got a seat at the table. We, we have to have contracts in place with registrars to deal with the, 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 the registrations. We've, we've got policies. We've got um, escrow requirements. And, and this is really is a... A, a serious requirement for a dot brand to understand what you need to do. Um, how will your second levels work? This is a, this is a favourite uh, of ours. Is, is we're moving away from Cartier.com, but what what is the what's the landing page going to be? And, and we know we can't go dotless. Um, how can you use your brand to, to in, in an innovative way? And, and um, you know we talk to a lot of consultants, and, and a, a lot of people say, well, we don't yet know what the new GTLDs will be used for. It's not just about the name. You know, we didn't need Twitter, but we've now got Twitter. Uh, that is fantastic, but there's only a, a finite amount of time we can actually say that before someone says, well, well show me. Uh, and, and really, that's something we need to, we, we need to be progressing. Um, and then the final question we're asking is, is our domain uh, portfolio going to evolve throughout all, all, all this? And, and you know, we've got thousands of domains we're managing. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Uh, is it going to concentrate on a, on a dot brand? And so moving into the, the, the wider GTLD environment, um, uh, as we open up the registries, um, what, what marks are you putting in the trademark clearinghouse? What brands or what GTLDs do you want to register with in Sunrise? Or do you want to wait or do you want to monitor with? Um, how is your digital enforcement strategy going to change? Um, you know, you're, you're not going to be able to take a proposition into your CFO and say, uh, here's my budget this year, I want it 30 times bigger, because you're probably not going to remain in the room uh, it, it, with your CFO. Um, what will you do next time? Uh, if, there is, if there is a next time, and for some brands, you don't want a next time necessarily because you've got your, your, your real estate. Uh, and then again, in the wider GTLD environment, uh, how is your uh, domain name portfolio uh, going to involve? So this is the question that you're going to ask both as a dot brand uh, and, uh, of course, as, as, as a for brand.